Welcome to Lovitos Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Uh, please keep in mind that not everything in this reading will resonate with you, so take it as you may. Um, the, the roles can be reversed, so take it as you see, see fit. Also, that, you know, these readings are meant to be timeless. The timestamp for this reading is going to be for the week of May 16th. But keep in mind that timeless readings mean that this can occur anytime. We're all on different time cycles, so um, we're not all going to experience everything at the same time. So when you're meant to see it and hear it, that's when you're meant to see and hear it. So I pulled a card for you, so let's get to it. So the Queen of... For the first card that I pulled in the pre-shuffle was the Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is about a person that's, you know... They're more about in their their ego than anything else. So it being in reverse, it's it's being the energy is about ego. Someone has too much ego between, and there's a lot of ego going around. You know, people not listening to logic. It's all about them. So it's that selfish energy that I've been kind of feeling with some of the other readings as I've been doing. So let's see how that plays out in the in the reading. So. So the first card I pulled was is the energy between the both of y'all is the four of cups. So whoever you came to this reading for, this is the this is um this is the energy between the both of you. So the four of cups is about being divinely offered a cup and you looking up and more interested in reading your book in this picture than accepting that cup of love, the you know, the ace of cup, the the one cup. And that's that relationship between the both of you. Now <clears throat> You got the nine of nine of pentacles clarifying that because that's just uh, which clarifies and, and and states that you guys are more about the material the material things right now. You guys are more focused on how people perceive the receive you than anything else. So it's it's the ego again, you know, ruling out that ego is playing a role in this relationship. You're more you're more worried about. What, how other people will see you with your person than with anything else, and it could be it's vice, it could go either way, vice versa. You know, that's the energy that that's clarifying this. You know, pretty much ignoring your, your that cup of love. Um, I kind of see you, Leo, as with the ten of swords as your energy towards them. Um, you're coming out of a you know traumatic experience. Yeah, you've been in your head. You know, you've been playing out, overthinking, doing a lot of those things. But I think you guys are coming out of it. Uh, it's clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. And that kind of tells me that you are more focused, you know, before you were focused on the outcome than, rather than than the, the journey there. So, you know, this, this thinking, overthinking about how you think this relationship should go is coming to an end. And with the Ten of Swords, it's, it's 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 the end of the cycle. So you're coming out of that cycle of, you know, they should have reached out by now. They should have did this. They should have done that kind of mentality. And you're gonna start to be uh, feeling better with the new cycle coming into play on your on your side. Now, for your for your person, Leo, uh, we got the Lovers in Reverse. That's about. You know, in the lover's upright, it's about a decision between a between a, a romantic relationship. But in the reverse, it's more about focusing on one aspect of the you know the connection or the relationship, and it's kind of kind of verified with the the six of swords. You know, all about your all in your head about this relationship. Focus on the one thing, over analyzing things. So I kind of feel that both of you guys are overanalyzing a lot of this, the situation between the both of you. And with this overanalyzing and focusing, your person is focusing more on one aspect of the relationship. They're probably focused on, well, you know, Leo's don't take me on as much or Leo's do this too much or Leo's do that. But I kind of feel that, you know, they're, they're, they're too focused on that. They're overanalyzing that one thing. When they can be analyzing that there, this is a divinely guided relationship between the both of you, and with the four of cups being held out to you. But what, who's, who's gonna? It's depending on who's gonna reach out for it um, first. You're coming out of a cycle of you 
focus on the outcome instead of the journey. And they're more focused on one aspect of the relationship that, you know, that they're overanalyzing it. And you bo one or both, uh, either one of you is more concerned about how other people will perceive this relationship than actually, actually coming together in one. So this is what I'm kind of getting for you for this uh, week. Uh, this week, Leo's, uh, this is going to be, uh, on Saturday we have the, or Sunday, I mean, we have the lunar eclipse this month, this week, and we're still in Mercury. We just, we're in the middle of Mercury retrograde as well. So take it as you may. Um, it's not a, it's right now it's not looking like it's, there's going to be any kind of outward reach. I mean, it could with the retrograde, you have people coming from the past, you have disrupted intercommunications, misunderstandings, stuff like that. But I kind of feel that that's not going to be the case. I think, I think you're both, uh, Ego is playing a big role in this in this relationship, in this connection. So um, I'm going to leave it at that. Now, thanks again for joining me. Um, again, hit please hit that like subscribe button. I really appreciate it. We hit 10 subscribers this week, which which is which felt really good to have 10 people actually following this this channel. But I would my next goal is to get to 25. So uh, hit that subscribe button if you already if you haven't already. Hit the like button. You know doesn't hurt to hit the like button. It gets my content content out to more viewers. Uh, share, leave a comment if anything this resonates with you in any way so that you can share it with other people in the community. Uh, but thanks again. Uh, thank you for joining. Uh, we're 10, 10 subscribers. Let's keep it growing. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye.